Hello antique fans and welcome to my antique channel. For those of you new to my channel, my name is Deanna and I'm the owner of Vintage Touch Antiques. I like to share and show you my personal antique collections. They are usually small collections, but I do have a number of different collections and I like to share and show you the things that I have for sale. So today I've got a collection to share with you that's part of my personal collection and this collection is my collection of treen or woodenware. Now treen is, the name treen literally means of a tree and this is um, often used, this term is often used in antique worlds to talk about or to describe woodenware pieces that are mostly the smaller utilitarian domestic type of objects, oftentimes handmade. So the first item that I'm going to show you is not exactly small, but it, I, I want to show you uh, the bowls that I have, woodenware bowls, and this piece is a huge bowl that I was able to get. And it's a beautiful old bowl and it's 18 inches in diameter and it has the brown bands around the outside. Now this big bowl right now sits on top of my refrigerator and so it helps to decorate my kitchen. A couple of smaller bowls that I have and incidentally if you get the bowls or any tree wear pieces that are painted they will cost more money but they're very sought after and they're cherished by primitive uh, collectors especially, but they make wonderful country accents as well because there's so many different things that you can do with them. I have a couple of just plain, as not, not painted, but just the natural wood. This is a maple bowl that's about 10 and a half inches. It's got a little bit more depth to it. And then I have a about a ten and a half inch, but this one is a more shallow type of woodenware bowl. Now, again, I look for the wonderful character wear and things that you would see that make these pieces one of a kind because the aging process cannot be duplicated and it just really does make them wonderful accents for your home. I will show you at the end of this video uh, a short slideshow of these pieces that I'm showing you today on display in my home. Another thing that I have, and you'll often see this in maybe uh, photographs that show primitive pieces in graduated sizes. I have three that I stack in my kitchen and I've seen them in pictures where they have a whole stack of different colors maybe and different sizes. This is These are called firkins. Some refer to them as sugar buckets. They are just little wooden buckets with a lid that comes off. And in this case, mine have wire bell handles. Sometimes they're all wood. This is my smallest, my top of the stack one. Then I have one that's my next size down that is a that has a nice red wash finish to it. Now again, if you have a use for one of these firkins without the lid, like for instance if you wanted to fill it with dried flowers or rag balls or something of that nature, you can get them a lot cheaper if they're missing their lids. So keep that in mind if you're out hunting for one of these. I'm going to have to move around here a bit as I move these things. And then this is my largest one. This one has a nice mustard color tint to it. And it's a, at the bottom of the stack of firkins that I have. Another two pieces that I have are these pantry boxes, sometimes referred to as band boxes. And they're just little round wood boxes that have lids that open up. I have 
straw in this one. I've used it for an Easter basket. You can use them to just show off a number of things. And if you would check my decorating video playlist, I do show them on display in various ways. This one is about a six and a half inch. And then my other one is about an eight and a half inch. And as you can see, it's got the beautiful aging and wear. And I do sell most of the pieces that I'm showing you here. I have them from time to time. And so I want to encourage you to check my web page where I feature a lot of these pieces as well as my online store. And of course, if you are uh, able to be in the Hagerstown, Maryland area, you might want to come in and see my antique booth where I sell a lot of these types of pieces there in Antique Crossroads. Along with the utilitarian idea, or even rolling pins, and I have a collection. I'm just showing you a couple of them right now. These are more unusual with the one piece. Most, most often, these are handmade, and so they are very unique and very different. You can find them in all kinds of sizes as well as shapes. Here's one, for instance, and you can see the stubby ends to that and the character Look at the um, old, um, I guess it was like the knot out of the tree there that's opening up. And you can see, and I put these on display in a firkin in my kitchen um, that does not have a lid. I hope that doesn't roll off my table here. That's all I need. I think I'll lay them down here on the floor. Okay, now another little piece. Now this is a very unique little train box made like a little chest or house in it. It has wonderful toll painting on it, a little latch that opens up here. And of course, pieces that are decorated like this are very sought after and they do command a much bigger price. Another example of train wear would be a knife box or carrier. This is a divided hand carrier that most people would put their flatware in. But of course, you can use your imagination and use them for a lot of things. And they make great centerpieces on your table. Other pieces. Like, for instance, this butter paddle. As you can see, it's a wonderful size, great patina, and those make great wall hangings. I have one here that I do have for sale. Still, it has the tag on it, and the price on this one is $29. This one has the notch here so that it lays in your bowl. It has a thickness to it that makes it really nice and a wonderful patina. And even wooden spoons, I sell those. These are some old ones and I do have a couple in my shop right now that are very long ones, 18 inches long and 15 inches long, that um, would have probably been used for hearth cooking where you would need the long handle to reach into the big pot. And even little spins like this are great to just lay them around and decorate with them. Other train wear pieces could even include a cutting board. Now this is not as old as some. It has the notch here, I mean the hole here for hanging if you'd like to hang this one up. But it is still got some age to it and it would be considered part of your wooden wear collectibles. And here's a couple of stompers or mashers, some call them. And again, you can find these in all different kinds of shapes and sizes. And I sell a lot of these. So check my online store. I think I have some on sale there as well. And um, try to have them in my antique booth as well. 
So that concludes this video on my collection of wooden wear or treen wear. And so I would like to um, remind you to hang on for the end of this video where I will show you a short slideshow of how these pieces are on display in my home. And don't uh, forget to check the description of the video. I will try to put links in the description for pieces that I may have for sale at this time, but not everything is photographed, unfortunately. And so the best thing to do is to check out my, my antique booth in Antique Crossroads, located in Hagerstown, Maryland. And also, let me invite you to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I would love to have you as part of my viewing community. And finally, when you own an antique, remember you own a piece of history. So bye-bye till next time.